Well, welcome back. And since it is International Beading Week, that's hashtag IBW, I thought I'd do an extra video this week um, to talk about, first of all, the progress on the beaded mandala that I'm making, and then also to talk about how to do peyote squares that are absolutely flat and have straight sides okay so you might have tried making squares before and i'm going to if you have any problems i'm going to try and explain how to get them right so first of all for the mandala and i'm going to try and morph between the design and the individual elements so far that i've made and you'll begin to see what it should look like when it's finished i've still to do the frame and the center to finish off um, and then one of the corners to finish off. And there's a small problem of painting the circles and the squares onto the canvas. So there's loads to be done. And each of these corners um, consists of about 1,500 seed be um, delica beads. Um, the centerpiece so far is over 4,000 beads. So it's gonna be a big one. And the frame obviously I haven't done yet so it's going to be a few more thousand beads there too so I like to keep a tally of the beads um, and the only way to do that is to just keep on making a note of it such as this and um, adding it up as you go because otherwise you will lose count you will lose count um, so for making a square with with uh, Delicas, you really need cylinder beads, so I'm using my Yuki Delicas here. Um, and you start off with four beads in a round, sitting opposite each other like a little cross. And then the next row consists of four beads, but each of those beads sits in between the first row of beads. Then for the corners, you work in a pattern of three beads, two beads, two beads, one and zero. And you keep on repeating that three, two, two, one, zero. And the bit in between, you fill in with peyote. And it's really simple once you get your eye in, it's really straightforward. So you, you may have tried making squares before, and you might have come across problems of wrinkling and the sides of the square getting curved. Now, the key to all of this is using the right tension. I'm, I'm trying to show you one here that's quite difficult to do in the, in the camera um, to see how it looks when it's wrinkled. And um, I'm showing you a picture here from earlier in the week uh, that shows the contrast between a nice square flat one and this one that I'm holding in my hand now. So you can see the curvature hopefully on there. So, when you think about it, the peyote sections um, are locked together in a grid and they're not really going to move that much. So if your tension is too tight, the beads that make up the corners or the, the turning the corners, they're in all sorts of different directions and positions. So if you make it too tight, they tend to move and buckle over each other. Hence you get the wrinkling. But also when you think about it, if you're pulling them in tight along those diagonals, it's going to pull in the edges of your square and make that curved. And really, I've not come across anything that can recover from this. Um, in the past, I've tried putting these um, under a weight for a week. And still, when I take the weight off, they ping back up and I'm no further forward. Or um, I try to manipulate the beads into a better position, but still that doesn't work either. So your best bet is to just dispense with that, start again and try and get the tension that you want. Now, of course, you may want a wrinkled uh, piece for your artistic purposes or edges that curve, but for the piece that I'm making, I really want it to be as flat as possible and have edges as flat as possible because they're going to be arranged right up against straight lines in a square pattern okay so that's why I, I, you know and this one has come out really well and the, the beads really glisten very very nicely so I'm really happy with that so 
You need to be brave about the tension. It's surprising how loose you should make it at each of the corners. And it's just at each of the corners. And it's almost, if you take your fingernail and just put it in between the beads and you ha have a little sight of the thread there. And that is really all that you need to, to keep it loose enough for the beads just to sit in their optimum positions to make that corner. And it is as straightforward as that. So I'm hoping that um, you found this useful. So please keep watching, please subscribe. Uh, next video, I really can't decide. I might do a video on where to source beads and materials. I might do a video on um, another art exhibition that we go to, or I might do a video on the progress of the mandala because we might be further ahead in creating it. Um, so do keep watching to find out what I do next. And um, same time, same place, which usually is Tuesday a.m. UK time. So same time, same place. See you then. Thank you.